Okay, the next of our unlockable cars is RDO4 for beating Cyber Control. One of the easier ones to get because you don't have to worry about falling off the track. So we're going to give this one a standard review of Sky Realm, Ice, Cliffside, and Cosmic with that little bit on Lightning. Oops, that's the wrong realm. So we're going to go into Sky. Alright, let's see what this thing's like for Downforce. Interior view, it's still a work in progress. Alright. So we'll see how well this thing holds on without Nitrox. It's not very well. It's having a lot of issues here. Um, it's sliding around a lot. Every little bump is definitely messing with the downforce on it. I reckon they should have the thrusts boost come from the back here because it would just look better. Oh, that was just uh, my own fault. Gonna do a little more nitrox. I'm gonna try again. This time we're gonna try this left side. Oh, it's actually just got no traction up here. It's awful. Ah, uh, so. As far as its downforce goes and staying on the track for Skyrealm, RDO 4 is probably, well, without a doubt, the worst I've seen so far. Alright. Next track we have is the Ice Realm. We're going to see how well this does on the ice. This should be one of the tracks that it has an advantage on because it does look like a bit of a four-wheel drive sort of thing. Oh, it flips out really easily and we're already off the edge. So we're gonna try again. Okay. That's not too bad. Let's see what the grip is actually like though. It does seem to flip out pretty easy though. Honestly, as far as grip's concerned, this car's great. It's holding on quite well. Going way faster than I should have to. Uh, that was entirely just me getting overconfident. This is probably the be the best grip car that I've put on this track for these reviews so far, despite what my driving says. Probably don't need to be going as fast as I am. That's entirely just asking for trouble. But yeah, it's driving so nice compared to how awfully it went on the Skyro. That's just beautiful right there. Takes these quarters like a charm. It's getting a little drifty, but that's fine. Can we do the loop? Has the traction for it? Absolutely we can. That's beautiful. This car is one of the best cars I've driven on ice. Again, that was user error. Don't blame the car for that. So far, uh, this is the best car I've put on ice. gonna go for the cliffside realm see how well this thing quarters it's got great grip um, and it felt like it was quartering quite well on that track so I am happy with that it's a little bumpy we are gonna take this really fast to start with and just see how well it takes this part oh it, it landed just more than I can say for Sikra it does have a little trouble staying straight despite its high grip I think that would be an issue with its downforce, honestly. As long as the track is flat, it seems to be okay. Uh, but we're going to see how it goes for corners. That was more my fault than the cars.
rough. It's just a shame that interior is not finished yet because it does look like it will be a nice one to have once it's done. I'm going to try the loop again, just see if I have the issues I had last time. Yeah, just getting into it, once it's got speed, it uh, does turn by itself a bit much. Uh, or it turns too sharply once it has some speed behind it, which is a bit of a problem. Just because of that loose downforce. So despite the high grip, it does get pretty loose pretty easy. But as long as you keep slow, it's got a lot of control. Just at high speeds, it just kicks out for no reason. Alright, we're going to try the cut because... I'm just having a little trouble with that loop. Oh, I always overshoot that. Rip. <laughs> It's not really a car for taking big jumps, just because it doesn't have the ability to land very well as we saw on Ice Road before. Oh my god. Cool, I don't know if I can do anything from here. Get on your wheels! Awesome. That helps nobody at all, ever. Rip. I'm having a lot of trouble here. I might actually have to edit a chunk of this one out. just teaching us not to take the cut on this loop in this car that's what I'm learning here is don't cut this loop it's alright baby I'm a professional so it's natural ability it's natural like bright lead for at like 200 it actually like mostly took that quarter for me so yeah as soon as it hits 200 it just starts to spin right uh, which isn't ideal anything below 200 the car is fantastic though like took that quarter super well I am enjoying this one. Honestly, this is one of the best ones I've had for Cliffside, despite the issues I've had. Um, look, it has got some steering problems, but it's definitely a fine car to drive. It corners very well, which is the main thing I wanted out of it, uh, was to test its cornering. Now we're going to see what it's like for these big, long straights and low gravity and all that. Get what this one's supposed to test. <laughs> Something. Ah, uh, it's landing. Like it's, yeah, stability. Uh, I feel like from what I know, this car has pretty awful stability. Just from memory, but we're gonna see how it goes. It could just be that I've had, you know, a bit of use error in the past. I still think the boost should absolutely come out of that big hole in the back. It looks like a jet. That would be ideal. Oh, it's not taken much for this to kick out at all. 
Let's just get really bumpy. So it's got some awful stability. Um, it's holding on, but that's because I'm at a way lower speed than I lost it in other cars. And there it goes. Yeah, it's actually terrible. I um, just want to see how it goes, like, full blast. Just want to see when it kicks off. <laughs> it just rolls. <laughs> yeah, awful stability. One of the worst I've seen. Yeah, we're gonna just see how it goes over that first store realm jump. So with its poor stability, it should have trouble landing here. Eh, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't ideal. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I spoke way too soon. Get on the brake as soon as you land in this one. She's a bit of a bitch. I catch air here, I'm in trouble. Oh, no, we're okay, we're okay. No, we're not, we're not okay. <laughs> I can't even get to the bridge. Just getting to the drop is being a bit of a burden for me. Um, obviously, you know, I did go faster than I should have for that hill, but that was to test how the car would perform. Uh, it was quite terribly. So this car's great as long as you don't go fast. As soon as you put any speed into it, it just loses it. It's purely stability. Like, it just has the worst stability and downforce I've ever seen. It has some good control when boosting. Yeet. So, audio 4. Um, really great in the corners, really great at, uh, I'd say sticking to the track, but that's not true. Uh, it has really good grip, it does not stick to the track very well just because of that poor downforce and poor stability. Uh, Looks great for ice rail. I wouldn't touch it anywhere else. Uh, it's kind of fun on cliffside. Give that a shot. Um, give it a shot on like, you know, your tracks like Cybergrid is fine. Fog, not so much. Desert, not so much. Uh, water realm, it's okay, I guess. Uh, that's about it. Ice and cliffside, it's, it's fine. Don't touch it for cosmic. Don't touch it for storm or fog sky it's just not worth it don't worry, don't worry about fog either it'll have some troubles there but otherwise it's not that bad